Welcome to Suffolk TV, I'm Sarah Solomon, alongside Dr. Lisa Costa, U.S. SOCOM's Chief Information Officer. Dr. Costa, how has SOCOM adapted to higher demand on its IT systems during COVID? We fundamentally rethought executive communications and communications on the move. We have provisioned over 10,000 individual kits and we have provided 100% uh, telework capability within three months of COVID. The world is increasingly mobile and soft needs to be as well. Why does U.S. SOCOM have its own acquisitions program? That's a great question and the answer is not so that we can replicate what the services are doing. Instead, we leverage what the services are doing so that we can provide soft specific capabilities not just the last mile, but every mile. We like to say satellite to submarine so that we can provide um, data, services, and communications ca capability um, globally. Where is SOCOM headed in information technology and how can industry help? The office of the soft CIO is charged with developing the digital transformation strategy for um, soft. So how industry can help, we're specifically looking at how we reshape our policies, our standards, um, our processes, and how we will uh, embrace and integrate into our capabilities things like 5G, artificial intelligence, um, edge-based computation, zero trust, and so as we move into that direction, any um, immersive new capabilities that industry and academia, for that matter, have come up with, we are very much able to pilot um, those capabilities, not only for ourselves within SOF, but also be a leader for the rest of DOD as well. What are you hoping to learn from industry during this conference? Over the last year, Industry and academia both have been working on new capabilities and new, new approaches uh, for working in information technology. And so what we're really looking for is to discover those new capabilities. And um, we really want to understand industry's roadmaps because we don't want to invest in things that don't have a commercial future to them. And so when I talk about um, things like that, I'm really looking at you know, behavioral cyber, how we achieve uh, dominance across AI, uh, DevSecOps as a service, and uh, providing capabilities to the very edge. So uh, we very much want to learn from industry and academia as well as partner. Dr. Costa, thank you. We hope you enjoyed this discussion and we'll see you right back here for the next Suffolk TV.